Hey, Yosuke, you haven't said a word all this time. Stop being so quiet and say something fun. Dude, you're asking too much. I've got no energy to spare for that right now. Yeah, but being quiet gets me all anxious. Don't you have anything? Some inside info on discounts at the Juness Deli? Thank you for shopping! It's always Customer Appreciation Day at Juness! Wait, just talking about meat boosts your spirits? Of course it does! Oh, meat. That tender juiciness makes me so... <laughs> Someone's here. <sighs> I am getting so bored. I should just go take out a couple of them. Whoa, hold on there. There's no need to get hasty when the plan's going so well, right? It'd be easier to just sit back and wait. Huh? Where is this? Was there some place like this at our school? What are you talking so big for? Want me to stick my sword through your ears? Ah, ooh, scary. Can't you calm down a bit? You won't beat anyone like that. And you came to get me because you needed me, no? You sure it's a good idea to kill me just because I rub you the wrong way? Cripes, what a wet blanket. Did you just come from a picnic out in the rain or something? <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. That guy has nothing to do with this. I can kill anyone I want if I feel like it. Then go on ahead. It's easy, right? Have you actually killed anyone before? This guy's really pissing me off. Hey, is that show guy insane? He's laughing and joking one second, and then the next, he pulls out his swords. Are they bickering with each other? And what was that about that guy? Look, there's no need to fight. Once it descends, after all, the world's going to totally disappear. Why spend your time dealing with them, you know? Just ignore those kids. Uh, that's not the problem. I look at those guys, and I can't stop gagging. They just herd together like best buds. I don't know why they're so full of themselves. It makes me want to beat the shit out of them. Get them to cry like babies. You get me? Do you? Yosuke Chie, get back! <laughs> You're so lame! Such a frickin' irritating bunch! I hate to even look at you! I just want to see you completely destroyed! Show me Nazuki. What are you planning? Huh? Weren't you listening? I'm gonna get rid of all you disgusting pests and make this a world I can stand to live in. What? Don't be ridiculous. That won't help anybody but you. Yeah? So what? Of course it only helps me. I'm saying you're disgusting, so you should all just die. This isn't funny anymore. You're totally nuts! Are you saying that nothing else matters as long as you're satisfied? Aha! Well, duh! Friends? Bonds? You worthless pests aren't accomplishing anything but licking each other's wounds! 
shitty pests in this shitty world have no goddamn call to give me their shitty lectures. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get rid of every shred of everything. You little... You really are a piece of shit that's not worth saving. You've got no right to do that. The world will be much quieter soon. Just like here. A wonderful place where there's no one else. It's all for me! What? A world with no one else? Ugh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Just hurry up and get smashed to pieces, you shitty pests! Whoa, whoa, what are you getting all worked up for? You really shouldn't do that. And you shut up too, you piece of shit! Come get me, I'll beat the life out of you! You'll be begging for mercy! There's no way I'm gonna let him win. I can't believe our town is such a mess because of that guy. There's no way I'm sitting back and letting it happen. Huh, I'm with you. We'll show you with our own fists how strong you can be when you have something to protect. Show strong. Don't let your guard down. You little... <sighs> what did I tell you? This is because you kept using those weird powers. You got all puffed up because of someone else's gift. Are we fighting you next, Adachi-san? Huh? Oh man, don't be ridiculous. Why would I do something that hard? Hard? Aren't you supposed to be on show's side? Show's side? <laughs> Give me a break. Come on, isn't there someone else besides me you should be worrying about? Someone we should worry about. Oh, you mean that guy Show mentioned? Damn, so he does have an accomplice. Persona. Such trouble you've caused. Thanks to you, I'm forced to show myself. Who are you? I'm Sho Minazuki. We are Sho Minazuki. I see. So there are two personalities within you. You have a split personality. No way! Seriously? That isn't strictly correct. I awakened within this child, and I exist to grant his wish. That's why I'm using that thing. That thing? This child's heart was warped due to great suffering at the hands of man. I must eradicate all that lives to win back peace for him. What good will it do to make the world that way? Humans can't live on their own. That's your perspective. He's unlike you, though, and requires help from no one. 
Are you that scared of a world with no allies? No, you're wrong. People grow by living together with others. That's how they're able to better themselves. As I said, that's your perspective. Sadly, you have no more friends to save you. Seeing as none of them are rushing in, your other friends must have fallen somewhere along the line. You shouldn't try and act tough. You're on the brink of death. What use would you be? Actually, perhaps you were a hindrance to begin with. Isn't that right, Narukami? Since you seem more accomplished than them. <gasps> Narukami, why not cast them aside? Then you'll be able to fight freely. Or... Are you unable to fight properly without these bonds you speak of? <laughs> your weakness is propped up by others. As is the rest of yours. Protecting your wounded comrades will result in your death. You... forget about us! You at least gotta... That's right! Don't let us drag you down! What? What are you saying? How does it feel? You are about to be slain because of your precious friends. These are indeed bonds, but only in the sense that they restrain you. Don't you think it would be better to remain alone? Persona. Izanagi! Let's end this. <laughs> Persona! Persona! <laughs> Yukun! Senpai, are you alright? Yeah. More imbeciles. It seems deploying doppelgangers made from shadows wasn't enough. Don't move. Get away from Yukun, or I won't show any mercy. No need for histrionics. I'll concede now without them. Though, should I at least get rid of Narukami first? <laughs> Sounds like a bad plan. Haven't you ever heard the saying, the cornered stag is most dangerous? I don't think you have time or energy to waste. No. Why are you here? Ah! Whoa! What is the shaking? It's begun. I'll be taking my leave. All that's left is to see this through. You truly love to swarm, don't you? You find your strength by herding together. But there, there are, are enough Persona, persona fragments, fragments now. I have, have no need, need to, to deal, deal with you anymore. anymore. What is this? Uh, my... my legs... 
This again! I am overtaxed. I've been relying on this borrowed power too much. Though now is not the time to hold back. I'll take, take over, over from, from here. here. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Bring, Bring on, on the, the ring! ring. Mitsuda-san? No, that's a fake. Where's Minazuki? He's gone already. Hey, not to butt in, but don't you think you're in over your heads a little this time? Didn't you see his power? You're up against more than just that brat. I mean, don't you think it's a little late? He said he has all the Persona Fragments he needs. So all that's left is to summon that thing, and then jam the fragments he's gathered into. That might have hurt. What was that for? You speak too much, imbecile. Should I deal with you instead? Whoa, no way! Where'd you get that idea? All right then. I did try to warn you guys. Now it's time for your execution! I'll send you all to the afterlife, one after another! In any case, let's sort the situation out. Sho is conspiring with the other Minazuki, and they enveloped this town in red fog. They then set things up so that we would fight our fakes here. When Persona users fight inside the red fog, their Persona is carved off into fragments, which are being harvested at the top of this tower. So the whole time, this P1 Climax was just to gather our Persona Fragments, right? Right. And Sho and Minazuki are planning on using the gathered Persona Fragments on whatever it is they're summoning with this tower. But what's Sho gone through so much fuss to summon? How they intend to use the Persona Fragments on this summoned entity, and what effects it'll have, remain to be seen. Yeah, but Minazuki said he was going to eradicate all living things by summoning this being. We can't let that happen. Minazuki's trying to fix it so no one else but Sho exists anymore, right? That's pretty serious. If that's what he's up to, we don't have much time left. We gotta hurry and stop him! Oh, hold on a sec. Um, there's something I was wondering about. Huh? What is it? Yeah, um, that Minazuki guy told you he didn't have a split personality, right, Yukon? Yeah, I definitely heard him say that. And, um, that's what made me think that maybe there's a plume of dusk stuck in him. Huh? What do you mean? Well, well I told Naoto-kun this before, but the plume of dusk has to do with creating iguses in my hearts, right? When I met Minazaki, the plume of dusk inside me resonated, like when I first met Igis. So if Sho doesn't have split personality, but that Minazuki was a personality that showed up later, it got me wondering. Huh? But how? Why? No, it's possible, thinking about it. Mitsuru-san suspected that Labrus's kidnapper had ties to the Kirijo group. I looked into it as well, but during the reign of Koetsu Kirijo, Mitsuru-san's grandfather, a CEO of the Kirijo group, they performed many inhumane experiments, which led to the various shadow-related crises that Mitsuru-san's group continues to deal with. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Sho was a victim of one of the experiments from that time. So, are you saying Sho had one of those plume thingies stuck into him as an experiment? According to my theory, yes. Seriously? Either way, we must hurry on. If we can rescue Mitsuru-san, she may be able to tell us more. <laughs>